for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. And here we have some wild winds making their way through the state. Yes, and some rain, potentially snow. There's a lot out there, Alana. A lot, and the wind chill is the next layer of the storm, but this is what it looks like up there on the backside of the Wasatch Park City. I want to show you the road snow. The snow's coming down, and we know the backside of the Wasatch, as we just saw in Midway, dealing with the snow. In the valley, it's rain, and it's because of our warmer temperatures. As we take a look at the Storm Tracker radar, it gives you a really good idea of where we're seeing the pockets of rain. The green indicating the rain from Tooele into Lehigh, Provo, Salt Lake in a bit of a lull here, but we know our mountains picking up snow and so are our mountain valleys. Logan getting a break after those road closures this morning. And we are adding heavy wet snow in a short period of time. And of course, that leads to avalanche danger. We're tracking that front and the Arctic blast following it. This is an Arctic front, which means cold air comes flooding in behind it. But we also have those whipping winds that creates a really dangerous situation for our wind chill. Our weather warnings have been expanded in certain locations when it comes to the wind and wind chill. And another system wants to move through ahead of Christmas weekend. How much can we pack into it? Oh, P.S. Happy winter. We started that today. It's the solstice. Okay, avalanche warning until 6 a.m. Bear River Range for northern Utah, and it's because the snow wants to slide, and we have extreme winds expected in this area. Blowing snow, limited visibility, and just overall dangerous conditions. The backcountry is not where you need to be. 30s and 40s right now along the Wasatch Front, which is why on the valley floor we are seeing rain. Now, this moisture is tied to the cold front. We'll see if the cold air floods in quick enough to change it over to snow. We've got teens and 30s over in Moab, teens in the basin, 49 in St. George. We're already below average. It's cooler out there. We do still see on the model that band associated with the front setting up this evening draping itself from Salt Lake through Magna as we roll towards Highland, Provo, and into the Duchesne area. And we could get some band of snow there impacting us and bring some light accumulations. As we get through the evening commute, it could just be wet for some. Quiet by tomorrow morning in the north. Now, we stay pretty quiet as we make it through the Thursday. And then as we roll into Friday, our next storm system's knocking right there, 1 a.m. in Wendover. You start to see the moisture. Cloud cover is increased. And this is going to be a quick brush by system. And as you look at the clock in the corner of your screen, it shows you at 9 a.m. Cache Valley, Brigham City, Snowville, so I-84. And then heading towards the Bear Lake area could get some light snow with cold air in place. Also, the high country. So the mountains could pick up a few light inches. That's not a huge system on Friday, but it is another disturbance to keep things active as we roll into Christmas weekend. A lot going on and a lot of folks are traveling so any little disturbance comes into play here. Okay, wind alerts, they are out there. And as we take a look, central and southern mountains have a high wind warning. We've already seen extremely gusty wind gusts at the top of our ridge lines, so a heads up there. This is in effect until 11 a.m. We could see up to 80 to 90 mile per hour wind gusts for this high wind warning advisory for the western U.N. Basin. And then brand new in the last hour, We've now included the West Desert. Great Salt Lake Mountains also could see those very, very gusty winds. Wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour there. So those winds with cold air in place going to add to what? Our wind chill and that Arctic air seeping into the United States. But we just care about Utah. As we take a closer look, we know that cold air comes moving in and it is going to impact much of the state with wind chill really dangerous for eastern Utah and northern Utah. And also new this afternoon, those wind chill warnings. They've now been posted for the Wasatch Front. We are part of that as the real feel of the weather, that's what the wind chill value is, will feel minus 5 to minus 10 in Weber and Davis County. Look at Utah County with minus 5 up to minus 20 in eastern Utah and Cache Valley. You just want to stay indoors Wednesday night into Thursday because of these strong winds, so a heads up there. Temperatures in the 15 range for Logan, teens and 20s for Salt Lake and Provo, 36 in Moab, 52 there in St. George. Here's a look on the next seven days down there in Washington County. Come on, there we go. It's dry for the next seven and temperatures climbing to average and then jumping above it. And then as we look at the Wasatch Front, we're going to see that active pattern and everybody's chit chatting about the weather. And I hope that you're paying attention because Friday we have that quick little system and then there's Christmas weekend. I know you guys are excited. You can't believe next week looks active no. too. White Christmas? Are we getting white Christmas? No. Okay, well, I, I like that we're getting back into the mid 40s. Th that's great. We're in the mid 40s. Mm -hmm. We were this afternoon, yeah. but now the cold air swoops in. It's the wind chill tonight, guys. That's going to be right. the big takeaway from the system. Be careful. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, yeah. Lana. We appreciate